Muy buenos días a todos. Buenos días, bon dia, good morning. I'm very happy to have all of you with us today. It is a great pleasure to have our friends from Creative India also performing their services in Sri Lanka, in Bhutan, in Nepal, and the Maldives. And today, we're going to have a special webinar with our friend Hajiv Kohli on incentives in Maldives. Maldives has been growing a lot. We at Avangard have been receiving a lot of requests for that destination. And it is time for all of us to understand how to make the operations sensible and successful in that beautiful island. I don't want to be uh, prolonging myself too much. I wanted to thank all of you for your involvement, for your presence here today. And we will have a lot of fun and at the same time, a lot of knowledge in the next hour. So without much more to say, I want to welcome my friend Hajiv Kohli to take on the helm and guide us through the beautiful islands of Maldives. Thank you all. Thank you, Sydney. Hi, everybody. And you know what? Hey, <laughs> cheers. When on the beach, you've got to do this. And it's actually a real drink. Uh, mm. But it's not a real image. Don't do that to us. <laughs> You know, I know, I know, and I honestly swear I was supposed to be doing this live on the Maldives. I was supposed to be there this week. Unfortunately, my inspection trip got postponed to next month. But anyone who wants, I, I will share my images. In fact, Sydney, the last trip I made in January of this year, it was a work trip with one of your clients. We Correct. spent six days in the Maldives, and it was serious work. We didn't touch the beach even once. So uh, she has promised me that that's true. It was. You can ask her. Um, mm. No, well, welcome, everybody. I will now share my screen. Oh, and, and before you do that, Ofelia Barrios from Mexico, nuestra querida amiga de México, nuestra gerente mexicana. Ofelia, muy buenos días y muchas gracias por haber en, eh, participado hoy un poquito más temprano que, no, que el normal. Sí, gracias. Hola, Sidney, muchas gracias. Gracias a todos por acompañarnos también el día de hoy. Eh, la verdad, muy emocionada porque creo que Maldivas es un destino súper interesante y que estoy segura que la mayoría de nosotros no sabemos qué hacer eh, para el caso de los incentivos, ¿no? Así es que pues nuevamente muchas gracias a todos y vamos a comenzar. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Hajif, your turn. Awesome. I am going to put my screen on full. So now you think you can see all of it. So this presentation is um, spoken yet, in English. Oh. You have it? On, on down. I think on you your right down. down, you have the full screen. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, you're, have, you're doing fine. I have it full here. Eddie has put All right. it uh, Go ahead. over there. What's good? Hey, well, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am very excited. A lot of you know us for what we've done in India, what we've done in Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan. And Maldives is something we have been selling for a very long time. And it's only during the pandemic in the last few years, uh, last year and a half, has it become very interesting for a lot of people for incentives. And it is a place we have done incentives before, and I will show you some examples as we go along. But it is truly heaven. I mean, I remember when I went to the Maldives for the first time about 12 years ago, um, my boys were very young and my wife was very upset with me. She says, Rajiv, you need to spend some time with us, with the children, stop traveling all around the world. And I had just come back from a business trip um, from Latin America, a matter of fact. And she said, let's go somewhere relaxing. I said, okay. I have never been to the Maldives, so let's go. I took these many papers to work with me. I took my laptop. We arrived at the resort. And first, when I got off at the airport, I looked at the water. And I said, oh, shit. It is blue. And you see the pictures, you see the videos, but when you see it live, it is just spectacular and unique. We got to the resort, went to our rooms. The kids said, let's go to the pool. I took all my papers, my computer to work by the poolside, and I started working. 
And after 10 minutes, I kept on then looking up, looking down, looking up. And then I asked my wife, if I don't work, do I need to feel guilty? Because for those of you who know me, I am a workaholic. I work 24 hours a day. She said, no. And I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it was the best five days of my life. It is a magical destination. And of course, all of you know the Maldives for honeymoons, for vacations, for leisure travel, for families. But what we said, it is a spectacular destination for incentives. And we had the opportunity to do our first very large project in 2017. It was a very large project. And that's what opened our eyes to what we can do. And I'm very proud of my team because today we have more experience of doing incentives in the Maldives than any other company in the world. And I think I say that with confidence and I say that with arrogance. Of course, the honeymoon couples are still coming and the Latin market has been very good in the last one year for the Maldives for us. Um, but when it comes to special incentive projects, which is the main theme today, it is a truly unique destination and it is also a complicated destination. And why it is complicated is as I will go through the presentation today, you will learn a little bit about the things that make Maldives very unique and very different from other parts of the world. And as a company, I mean, you know, we do analyze which resort to use, why to use that resort, who has the right spaces, who has the right uh, room mix, um, production on the ground. We have that experience, which of course, all good DMCs are supposed to have, but the Maldives has been very difficult. I want to show you one more video before we go ahead. So Eddie, you want to play another video? It is difficult times like these that remind us that we are all humans, wanting to cherish every moment that we have, surrounded by the ones we love. During this time, we would like to inspire you to make new stories with more experiences. We think, wonder, and dream of what we cannot explore today, but what awaits tomorrow. Be it cruising the seas, relaxing on a beach under the palm trees, discovering the local life, the colorful underwater, or enjoying a dip by the water villa. We miss having you with us. It just isn't the same. Dream now. Visit Maldives soon. Thank you. Um, now, the Maldives is a very unique country because it is a country that is very long and made up of many, many, many islands. And the islands are grouped across what are called atolls. Now, it's about 1,200 islands, but only 200, only 200 have people living on it. Okay. And about 150 to 170 are resorts or becoming uh, resorts. Now, you cannot go very easily to island to island. Some people ask us, oh, can we see five resorts? Yes, but it means you have to go by boat, you have to go by seaplane, um, and it is, it is fairly complicated. That is why at the very start, and I will talk about this, the process, the system we go through on selecting the resort is very, very critical. Now, Maldives, of course, is known for the sun, for the water, but also for what is inside the water, the types of fish, the types of coral. And different parts of Maldives are known for different type of marine animals. Some people, some resorts, some atolls areas have the whale sharks, some have the manta rays, some have the turtles, the corals are different, 
the fish are different. Uh, so depending on the interest of the client, we select the right resort, right location. One very important thing to know, it is an Islamic, a Muslim country. You see a picture of Male. Male is literally two and a half by two and a half kilometers. It's a small, small, small place. No alcohol. You cannot bring alcohol with you on the plane, but all the resorts have some of the best bars in the world. Now, one of the questions we always ask in the beginning, and I know sometimes you find this strange, what is your budget? Now, of course, as a DMC, we like to know. But for the Maldives, it's exceptionally, especially important. The Maldives is one of the 10 most expensive places in the world to take a vacation, to take a holiday. Why? Because the Maldives has nothing. Everything in the Maldives is imported. Now, I have done programs in which I have seen the cargo ship that we sent. We have to, the flowers come from Europe. The lemons come from India. The water is imported. Everything is imported. The manpower is imported. The hotel staff are all coming from overseas. So all these little things make the Maldives a very expensive destination. And in many ways, a lot more expensive than, well, I will say maybe India. For a lot of you who may have quoted India or other parts of the world, it is more expensive. Is it impossible? No. But when you tell us the budget or the indicative, it helps us understand what type of resort to give you and in which direction we go in. So please, when you do ask the client or when you get the proposal, please do ask, give me a budget idea. I have been asked what is the wrong time to go to the Maldives? What is the rainy season? My vacations to the Maldives have always been in May, which is off season for the Maldives, which is the monsoon. But I will tell you, and you can see it in the chart, the temperature does not change. Does it rain? In, in, some, in uh, the rainy season, maybe for five days. But the rain comes and it goes very fast. It might rain for one hour and then it immediately clears up. There's a reason. Because the Maldives is flat. It is sea level. There is no place for the clouds to get stuck. There are no mountains. There are no hills. There are no real trees. So it moves very fast. And then when it rains, it generally rains only in the evening. So you can do Maldives 12 months a year, 365 days. There is a difference in the price. October, November to March, April is very high season for the Maldives. The rest of the year uh, is low season. And the price difference can be 40, 50, 60 percent. And especially if you have a larger group, we always recommend looking at the low season because Maldivian hotels are scared of groups. And I will explain um, why. It has good connectivity for you. It's got Emirates, it's got Qatar, it's got Etihad, it's got Lufthansa, it's got Turkish Airlines. Um, and the Middle Eastern carriers and Turkish Airlines have two flights a day. So when we're doing a lot of our customers uh, coming from the Latin markets, they have been using one in the Middle East or Turkish, or you can even use British Airways and Lufthansa. Now, of course, when the pandemic stops, the new schedules will come out. But this is what has been historically uh, operating. Now, the visa into the Maldives is free, no charge. Muy facile, very easy. You just need to have the valid passport, come and land. Currently, at the moment, there are COVID regulations, so you have to fill the form online. Other than that, it's very, very, very simple. Now, the transfers in the Maldives are interesting. Before, and this is where, sorry, Haji, before we move forward, how far from Dubai or Qatar is the flight in numbers of hours? About four hours, Sydney. I have done it. Okay. It's about four hours. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So it's actually a very short flight. Uh, and let mm. me give you an example. From certain parts of India, Maldives is only one hour away by flight. For me, for Delhi, Delhi to Maldives is four hours. Down south, it's one hour. 
but Dubai Maldives is about four hours. Okay. You know, so it's a very simple flight and it is uh, generally a daytime flight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the transfers in the Maldives are very, very unique. There are three ways to do a transfer. Seaplane, speedboat, or a mix between a domestic flight and a last minute, last boat. So the boat may be 10, 20 minutes from the resort to a domestic airport. Now, a lot of you have seen the seaplane in videos, uh, in pictures, in brochures. The seaplane goes to about 80 resorts. Those islands which are too far from Maldives, from Malé, the capital, where is the airport, they take the seaplane. Everybody else takes the boat. So out of about 150 resorts, half do the boat, half do the seaplane. You cannot take a seaplane to all resorts because the landing, the, the landing facilities at the resorts are only at places where they can reach. Um, you can, however, take a boat to all resorts. It is much longer. I'm doing a group um, to one of our partner hotels, the Lux South Ari Atoll, uh, I'm one of our many partner hotels. Uh, the normal seaplane is 30 minutes. Uh, we are also looking at the option of doing a boat for two hours, 15 minutes. Both are a very different experience. It is very important to know, and this presentation was made to give our partners for you to understand the destination better. So that's why it has more text, not for you to read now. But it's very important to know the seaplanes operate only sunrise to sunset. So about six o'clock in the morning till about four, 430 in the evening. When you have a flight outside this time, we either take a domestic flight from the nearby airport, which operates late, or we have to bring you early and you have to stay at a hotel near the airport. I do not ask you to worry about this now because this all depends on the resort and how we plan the program. But these are very critical aspects for you to understand. The seaplane has limitations. They take about 14 to 15 passengers. And it is a great experience because you see the islands from flying above. Now, the Maldives is all about relaxing. It's about the food, the water, the spas, the, the, the wellness experiences. Um, and when we have a group over there, we try to build in more activities built around this. Special group yoga classes, um, lectures on uh, wellness. We have options to visit local villages depending on uh, the resort. So there's a lot that we can do. We need to also remember 99% of the Maldives is water. And I think that's what is the beauty of the destination. Another very important aspect, because this is a destination of sun and fun. And yes, you have destinations of beach in Brazil, Mexico, Argentina, the Caribbean. Um, but this is a little bit different. We tell people very clearly, when you're doing an incentive, please do not plan a formal black tie dinner. No long dresses, no tuxedos, no high heels. You cannot use high heels over here. It's very difficult. This is a destination where we want people to relax. So we can do the very formal dinner, but not to wear the clothes that you normally would wear in a ballroom or in a major city because they're very uncomfortable. Don't forget, it's a very humid destination. Mm -hmm. And all the restaurants and all the venues are all open. Most of them are not in glass. They are not closed. Because the temperature is always pleasant, they're always open. So you have to dress accordingly. No heels is very important. In, in the resorts, the pathways, the, the roads are all of sand. 
there are no cars, there are no buses. The resorts do have golf carts, so you can take those. But again, this is a training presentation which you will get, and it will be both in Portuguese and in Spanish, of course, as well as um, in English. Now, the resorts are very unique. And I mentioned at the beginning, sometimes clients want to see two, three hotels, possible. But by the rule and by the law, one island is one resort. No island has two resorts. And I can't even say all the luxury resorts are close by. It is over almost a thousand kilometers and the resorts are all over the country. If you see the map, you'll find them spread all over. Um, and I do get asked, and when I went for the first time, I it was very difficult for me to choose which resort do I want to stay in. My first visit, I stayed at the one and only, which is that property is not one and only anymore, but it was one and only. I had options from, from Six Senses. I had other options. And at the end of the day, the type of resort we choose is dependent on the style that the client may want or you think is appropriate. There are resorts, which we call a very uh, barefoot luxury. Very, very expensive, but sand everywhere, relaxed. You can walk around barefoot. And the resorts, which are more formal in the rooms, more wood, more glass. Um, there is a different style for everybody. And what the style is, is something that you can understand and make out from the resort presentation pictures. So when we do send you the presentation, the proposal, we will also send you a lot of material on the resort because it's very important to understand the feel. On a site inspection, it's very hard to see two, three resorts. On site inspections from all these, we generally see only one unless there's an issue and the client wants to see more than one. But four incentives. When selecting a resort, we have as creative certain criteria. We need to know how many rooms, obviously. And we have to select the resort size. Only about 70, 70 resorts have more than 100 rooms. And out of the 70 resorts, only about half are five star and above. If you tell me I have a group of 50 rooms, I must look for a resort that has at least 80 to 100. For the very simple reason, for those of you who have sold Maldives for leisure travel, or those of you who have been to the Maldives, you will know that resorts in the Maldives have rooms over five to, different, five to seven different categories and can be more. So even if they have 100 rooms, they'll have 20, 20, 20, 20. You know, so we have to choose a resort very, very um, carefully. Obviously, we have to look at the quality of the room, the standard of the room, because the Maldives is so expensive. The value is very, very important. Um, we also like to choose resorts that have options and restaurants. There are resorts with maybe only two restaurants, and that doesn't mean they're bad, but that's the style. And there are resorts with eight, nine restaurants. Another resort reuse the uh, atmosphere, Kanifushi, has about seven, eight different outlets. The Anantara Digu, a chain from Thailand, they have about nine different restaurants. So we like to give the guests that option to dine around because Maldives is not the place where you will just eat all together. We have to leave them loose, free uh, to enjoy. And of course, one of the most important criteria for us, because the Maldives is so far, 
what is our experience as a DMC in working with that property, in working with that chain? We will generally not use a resort we have not seen. Between the team, I personally have stayed at 15 different resorts. So that gives me a very, very good feel of the spectrum. But we like to feel, understand the resort before we propose it to you. Now, the very big, big question that we get from Latin America, especially from the Brazilian market, because I know the Brazilian traveler is crazy about water villas. So in Maldivian resorts, there are two types of rooms. Rooms on the land, which are called beach villas or beach bungalows, and rooms on the water, which are called water villas. Now, the water villas are generally connected to the land, but they have an outlet. It is in the shallow, narrow part of the water, so you can go straight in the water. In the beach villas, you can walk to the water from your room. It's right outside your room, maybe 10 feet, 15 feet. All the villas that we will offer will always have a view of the uh, water. Sometimes I get asked, is there a difference in the experience? In my personal opinion, no. I personally, for my stay, like the beach villas. Why? The beach villas are always bigger. The bathrooms are always bigger. And the bathrooms generally have an inside and an outside. And I like that. That's my personal preference. Some people like only the water villas. So there is no right or wrong. And I honestly believe that both experiences are wonderful. But it is important for you to understand that as you go along, you will have, depending on the resort, many different type of categories of rooms. And we try to keep them as standard as possible. Um, Sydney Ophelia, do we want to break for a minute to ask for any questions or should I continue? No, we should continue yes, because I think this... we can see there. <laughs> yeah. Well, many questions have been answered, and I'm a bit afraid with the timing. We have gone already half hour. Yeah. So, Don't worry. We're going, we're okay, going. I'm not worried. No, 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 I'm not yeah, worried. Worry. It's Maldives. Okay. I'm relaxed. I just don't have a cocktail, so it's your show. Yes, like you, like Rajiv. So, Rajiv, how many days do you recommend for an incentive? Ah, good question, Ophelia. You know what? We get incentives from Europe for three nights. We have requests from Latin America for four nights, five nights. We're doing a program from South Africa for six nights. Because there is no sightseeing, there is no minimum. But keep in mind, one day is taken to come. One day is, is used to go. So I will say, look, four or five nights at a minimum. You know, the more you have really depends on the budget. Now, I wanted to quickly show you some examples of rooms. Now, these are two partners that we use. And again, we have lots of partners, but like the Lux South Ari Atoll. Um, this is a beach villa. Okay. So you can see the beach is right outside the large room. The bathroom is inside, outside. And the water villa. Generally, as I said, the water villas are smaller. They will all have a deck outside. And some water villas will have a pool outside and some water villas will not. This depends on the resort and the resorts generally have a mix. This is from one of our other partners, the Atmosphere Kanifushi. So again, you see a picture on the top left. Uh, all these pictures are actually of a beach villa. Larger rooms, bathroom inside, outside. You can see how far the water is. These are water villas at the same resort. The bathroom is inside. This one has a pool outside. The rooms are smaller. The experience, ladies and gentlemen, is wonderful. But there is a difference in the price. There is a difference in the style. There is a difference in the availability. As I said, every resort in the Maldives has a different feel of the rooms, a different characteristic, a different... Um, 
use a wood, marble, glass. So, and this we will explain to you when we do the program with you. One of my best experiences of the Maldives is, of course, food. For all my friends who are on the call with me from your part of the world, you know, I love to eat. I love to experiment. And the Maldives does not disappoint. The restaurants at the resorts are truly, truly world class. There is something for everybody. Now, different resorts have different specialty restaurants. All the resorts will always have one or two large multi-dining, multi-cuisine restaurant where they do the breakfast and maybe uh, dinners. Not all resorts do buffets. The more luxury, don't do buffets. The top luxuries, the Suneva, the Natolis, um, they don't do buffets all the time. But there is something for everybody. And even the way you dine, a lot of resorts will have dining on the beach. And I will show you some samples of how we do projects on the beach. Um, very nice steak restaurants, steppanyaki, Japanese, uh, bars, nightclubs. It is a, a fun, exciting experience. And there are a few resorts, I think about five, who have the famous underwater restaurants. Now, I personally have not seen this as yet. It's a fairly new addition to the Maldives. It's just been a very few years ago. The Conrad, I think, was the first one to have this. But again, a very unique and a different experience. Now, in the Maldives, there's no sightseeing. There's the sun, there's the spa, there's the beach. Some of the resorts have um, local villages on islands which are not very far away. We have done resorts which have turtle conservation, animal protection, not an island not very far away. So we create activities. We have a client from South Africa who wants to do uh, a treasure hunt on the island, which we will create with a mission, with an idea, with a plan based on them. Uh, special yoga classes, spa experiences, uh, cocktail making classes, cooking classes. There are a lot that we can do. One of the things we like to do is take the clients, the guests, on what is called a dhoni, D-H-O-N-I. This is a traditional Maldivian boat. We go for a sunset cruise with champagne, snacks, hors d'oeuvres, and go out there. A lot of guests also like to do deep sea fishing. So that experience is truly, truly special because Maldives is one of the most unique uh, fishing places in the world. Now, of course, you cannot come to the Maldives and not do diving and snorkeling. For people who know how to dive, it is heaven. For people who want to do diving classes, all the resorts we use have diving instructor, so you can get a very basic uh, ex uh, um, certificate for experience. Also, as I mentioned at the beginning, every island, every atoll, group of islands, has different type of fish, different type of coral, different type of animals. Uh, so that makes it very uh, unique and special as well. Water sports, you want to do jet skis, you want to do banana boats, catamarans. Uh, and some of the resorts have those new, new fancy James Bond style jet skis, which you take uh, for, uh, back, jet backpacks that you can do. Now, of course, one of the things that you have to include, or the guests will do it anyway, are the spas. Every resort we use will have a world-class spa. Some spas are bigger, some spas are, spas are smaller, but the spas are truly the key element of the visit. So we do have a lot of clients who will include one spa session in their pricing, in their costing, if not, we, we do get a discount at most resorts for the guests to pay directly. All of you know that Maldives is for romance. It is for love. It is for weddings. It is for honeymoons. It is just for saying, I appreciate you. But what we have been doing for incentives is doing 
a renewal of vows. How will I say that, Ophelia? Renewal of vows? Eh, una renovación de votos. Okay. Yes. So we have we are doing this for our clients, and we, it's a very 30 minutes. We have all the couples maybe in a circle, and the priest makes them repeat their love for each other. There's a special ceremony. You have red sand, white sand. You mix them together, showing that you can never be separated. And everyone gets a certificate of having renewed their vows in the Maldives. It's good fun. It's just something that everyone is relaxed and they want to do. And why not? But now to the real part, because what I told you is a lot of information I gave you is true for FITs and for incentives alike. But when it comes to pure incentives, everything I have told you so far is based on my personal experience of working in the Maldives, operating in the Maldives. And me and my team have been behind the scenes in the Maldives, not in the front. We are behind the scenes. We have seen how it is operated. So it is based on what our information is. Maldives is expensive. Maldives has a lot of variety in resorts. The resorts are small. But it does not mean you cannot do a great incentive. Our experience has been truly, truly amazing. If somebody was to ask me, but which one do you think is better, a Maldives incentive in India or, or the Maldives or somewhere else, I'll say it is so different. But the Maldives exp experience is truly unique. And especially now in the pandemic time, we are finding more and more people are asking for it. Even after the pandemic is over, this will be a destination where they want to go and um, get repaired. There are limitations of operating in the Maldives. We have to plan everything in advance. When we did our big project in 2017, which was for Amway Europe, it took us two years to design that program because nobody in the Maldives had ever operated a program like that. And we know because Amway, and they love showing off about their incentives because they believe in the concept. Researched for a year and spoke to every DMC in India, Sri Lanka, Maldives, and and the head of the incentive, uh, 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 Amway Europe in events, came to me at IMX Frankfurt in 2015. And he said, Rajiv, I have spoken to everybody in India, Sri Lanka, and Maldives, and I believe you are the only one who can do this program. And it was it is by far today my most challenging program in my life, but the one that has given us the most education. Um, we have to plan very carefully. You cannot say, can you order something tomorrow? You cannot say, can I get this in the evening on the program? Everything has to come by boat or plane. Many things are not available. When we did Amway, we carried 1,000 kilos of decorations, candles, gifts with us from India. We did a lot of printing. We were able to do that, of uh, uh, branding. We had seven tons of cargo go by boat from Malay Island to the resort, which was seven hours. Um, so when we work with you, we are going to ask you a lot of questions, which you generally ask maybe much closer to the program. But we will push you for these answers because these answers will determine your budget and will determine on which resort that we will use. But it works. It is truly the ultimate incentive destination in the world. So just a few samples of what we did. These are programs that we did. The pictures I'm showing you right now are all from my camera. So branding, we took over this resort. We had custom pillows made, of, okay? Yeah. We had these umbrellas, which we flew, brought in from China. On the top right, you, this was where the seaplane lands. This was the seaplane jetty. We had the branding. We designed these square boxes, which were selfie walls. We had six put on the one kilometer island, six put at different places where they could take the picture. We brought in two national award-winning sand artists from India.
from East India to we brought them to the Maldives. And for five days, they made different art on different parts of the resort. What you see in the back, I am way. I am, I am way. These were eight feet tall cutouts that you could see from the sky. Again, it's the sand artist, every time they did something different every uh, day. And this client was also launching its new product, which was GNH. So just some different branding that we did everywhere. We will do a party on the beach. Why not? You are at the Maldives. This is compulsory. Okay. Now, the party on the beach can be very fun, can be very cultural. You can do a Maldivian night. You can do a beach night. There are resorts which also have an option of doing a lunch on what we call a sand bank. This is a small area where the sand is above water at low tide. So the top right picture is a program that was done. We took them for lunch. Everything was there, the barbecue, um, the alcohol. It was just fun. And they come back by sunset. For the big program we did for Amway, we did a Bollywood evening. We wanted to do something different. And of course, having a budget is very helpful. They had a very good budget. So we brought in 32 dancers, singers from India to perform. That was their gala event. But what you're seeing here is things we produced in the Maldives, and this had never been done before. So I'm very proud of what the local support was able to give us. Fireworks, very hard to do because the only person who can do the mall, uh, fireworks in the Maldives is the army. So we have to ask them. They come for two days in advance. They make the boats and they do the, the fireworks from the ocean. It is just amazing, amazing, amazing. Some pictures of what we did on the beach. And again, I recognize everyone has different budgets, different experiences. But our job is to make the destination work for you, not you work for the destination. So that was Sydney. I am well below time. Um, wow. just to you were few. fast. I have a lot of questions now. Should I? Yes. Well, why don't you go okay. ahead with the questions? Okay, Rajiv. If we consider one of those large, uh, larger resorts, uh, number one, how many or what percentage of twin rooms we might have? Ah, thank you. Yeah, I know. Twin rooms? <laughs> twin, tw you owe me the answer to that question from the client, Sydney. Twin rooms are the biggest problem in the world in the Maldives. Okay? Let me, let me say something. I know when we do incentives, we generally think the hotels will say, welcome, we love you, come. The Maldives resorts don't like incentives. Why? Because they have so many honeymooners, families... And, and FITs. We have spent a lot of time training some of these. A lot of time. And it has worked. But we understand the trick. Twin rooms are a big problem. You know the project we're working on right now? They want only 20 twin rooms. Very hard to get. Uh, one of our partner resorts um, has only 197 rooms. Only 18 twins. Now, Rooms do have very nice sofa beds. And they couldn't put they can't put extra beds. But you and I both know it's not the same thing. So twin rooms oh, is you're not going to the Maldives to sleep in a sofa bed, that right? Coach, it's, yeah. it, it no. makes absolutely no sense. No. So that's then, why we're very clear. Yeah. So what we're doing, Sydney, what we're doing right now, we are trying to negotiate a super special rate for single occupancy instead of twins. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah, well, this is this was one of the questions uh, that I that I had. The other thing is um, related to uh, needs for special food for people with disabilities. Um, all of these things that we usually have to think about when we operate in other destinations uh, are these resorts prepared to cater to these specific 
public. You know, because the Maldives is such a high-end luxury resort uh, destination, so is the food. Special needs food, to me, is a less problem here than it would be maybe in India. Because mm -hmm. the quality of the staff at the resorts is very high-end, very good. Okay. Uh, special needs for disabilities. <coughs> we are going to be operating a group that you know about in which one person is physically challenged um, and the resorts we have learned are equipped. We will plan, we will put maybe a golf buggy at disposal. So it's generally not a challenge. There are no no paths, there's no no roads, no no fixed roads, it's sandy. You know, mm. so in the resort. So that has to be put kept in mind. Um, right. But Sydney, I don't see it to be a challenge. Sure. The other thing uh, that that um, we usually get questions on uh, relates to. I have just a question here coming, which is pretty much the same. Uh, when you do the diving, and you have diving with fish, maybe with ray man manta rays, things like that, you don't have to come with a certificate. You can get the certificate, no. and you can get the training at in the destination. Correct. So the di the diving the dive centers, most of the resorts we use have what are called PADI certified mm -hmm. centers, P, P A D I, which is the global. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so most of them have, and they will have dives for beginners, dives for intermediary, and dives for experts. Okay. If they feel you're not ready, then they may tell you to take a few test dives. Okay. Um, and there are a lot of things that you can do just by snorkeling, but the dive center knows what level you um, can do. And also we find most people who are dive experts will always take their certificate. They know okay. They know the system. Yeah. Now, are there a resorts that you can do the buyout for an incentive? Because yes. since they don't have that many resorts with the will to operate incentives, doing a buyout would make sense? Um, yes and no. Buyouts are possible. Buyouts, if you give me a long time, a lead time, buyouts are very easy. If you tell me one year advance, buyouts are easier in the off season. Buyouts in high season are very difficult because all these resorts have allocations with European tour operators. Because mm -hmm. Europe is the biggest market for the Maldives. So the French, the Italians, the British have regular allotments. So doing a buyout is tough. We have done buyouts. We just have a proposal right now for a buyout. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, and it's, it depends on the budget. Buyouts can be more expensive. If you tell me I have 80 rooms, doing a buyout of a 100-room property is not bad. But if you say mm -hmm. I want to buy out, I have only 50 rooms, it becomes very expensive. So the budget plays. Okay. Now, since we have spoken a lot already, I think maybe it's time for us to do a quiz. Yeah. What do you think? What are, you gonna, what are you going to offer for this quiz? Uh, we always have a little prize. So you're going to do a Bollywood dance? Uh, what are you going to, what are we going to have? Okay. Damn, now, I, you know, before, I, I wish. Uh, Sydney, so, uh, Rajiv, uh, just to remember the people, they have to scan the, um, they have to do the scan. Eh, si no les aparece el scan, pueden ir a www.menti.com y poner el código que les aparece en la parte superior para poder ingresar y participar en este quiz. Exacto. Now, what I see. Okay. Entonces, Look. I'm going to do it in, in Portuguese now, so that everybody understands. A gente vai entrar num quiz agora, como é que funciona. Vocês fazem o scan do QR code aqui do lado esquerdo, tá? Vocês vão entrar, vocês podem colocar o nome de vocês ou manter algum nome. Cada um recebe um avatar. A gente está vendo aqui, tem avatar de caranguejo, lobo, tem o espião, tem vários. E aí, a gente vai começar com as perguntas. Serão cinco perguntas. Quem acerta ganha pontos e quem responde mais rápido ganha mais pontos. Então, qual é o segredo do jogo? Responder certo e rápido para fazer mais pontos. E aí, nós vamos ter aí o, o ranking daqueles que chegaram mais adiante. Todas as perguntas estão, de certa forma, relacionadas a tudo que foi falado até o momento. Então, é uma ocasião bacana para você testar seu conhecimento. Tá? E é uma ocasião bacana também para você falar, pô, quero ganhar um brinde do Rajiv. Because Rajiv is a very good guy with gifts. 
So <laughs> usually, he usually all, he comes to Latin America full of gifts yeah, full every of time, gifts. and we oh, love he it. The gifts. So you start okay, thinking look, about look. it because next time you come, we're gonna ask you to bring it. Okay. Okay, and we have a lot of I people participating. How many? Yeah, we need more people. Huh? That's not enough. We, we, have, we need to I have seen like 28 people participating. Oh, okay. We uh, should we get to 30 before we start? Yes, I think. Okay, one more. I, I promise the gift will be really cool. Okay, good. I think we can start now. We're gonna read the questions, okay? And then there will be four possible answers. So the faster you answer and the correct answer, we'll get more points. Okay, nearly 1,200 1, islands from the Maldives, but only about X of them are inhabited. How many islands, quantas islas, no tienen habitantes? Buena pregunta esa, huh? Boa pregunta. <laughs> All right, let's see who has answered. Time's up. Okay. Wow. Yeah. The majority has, has done it. A maioria acertou. Parabéns. Isso é muito bom. Vamos à segunda pergunta. Questão número dois. Question two. But the, a, the 80 was listening because I did say 80 uh, or something. Maldives is the country with the lowest altitude in the world. The highest altitude is only... X meters from the sea. Ah, é um país super baixo. Quem conhece, essa é fácil, tá? Quem já pesquisou sabe. Infelizmente, com o aquecimento global, nós não sabemos como é que eles vão fazer nas Maldivas. But, vamos lá. Atenção. Uau! Uau! Fantástico! Everybody was paying attention, right? Ah, Thank you. Excelente. Agora vamos à terceira. E aí a gente vai fazer uma parcial. What is the official religion in the Maldives? Essa é muito Very fácil. Fácil. At the beginning. Islam, Budism, Hinduism or Judaism? Ah, quem não souber essa, a gente vai mandar de volta para a escolinha do professor Raimundo. Essa aí tá fácil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One second. Time's up. Islam, yes, perfect. That's the I majority. I said no alcohol to be brought in. Yes, you exactly. Can drink on island. Questão número 4. Olha lá, penúltima. From all activities below, which cannot, cannot be performed in Maldives? Snorkel, surf, camel ride, scuba dive. Qual also very easy. Na... Né. Qual okay. atividade <laughs> não pode ser hecha in Maldives? Essa... No sé, ¿eh? Huh? A ver, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Camel ride. Camel ride. It seems right. Fantástico. Ajá. Uh, Eddie, tenemos... Ah, ok. Leaderboard. Atención. A ver. Pedro en primer. Isa, Laís, Del, Katia. Ok. We have people fighting for the first place. This last question is key. The amount of points is significant, so go for it. <laughs> Questão 5. Despite having a total area equivalent to the size of Portugal, X size of Maldives territory is just water. Wow, essa é fácil também. 50%, 85%, 90% 99% de Maldivas está eh, bajo agua. 3, 2, 1... Time's up. Okay, 99%, five people. Congratulations. Thank Ahora, you. a ver. Oops. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Marcio, no, no es posible. Oh, that really changed. No, Laís. Laís. Wow. Laís, 4,008 puntos. But Rajiv, haven't said what is the price. No, we need to ask Hajiv. What's the price, Hajiv? Okay, ah, depending on the resort, depending... <laughs> I, if you come to the Maldives, you will have a dinner on our... on us. 
Or if you're not going to come to the Maldives, I will bring something for you when I come to Brazil, inshallah, very, very soon. Okay. Perfect. I think that's fair. You can bring a shirt similar to yours. Very <laughs> special. Oh, you look very fancy today. Yeah, you, so you're talking to the destination. It, it took me half an hour to find this shirt. I hadn't seen my shirts for like one year. I opened my formal closet to find oh, all my business shirts. Okay. Should I now... Quit? Should I quickly we should, we have a few more. Do we have a video? Do you want me to go through the questions quickly? or We have answered, I think, pretty much all of them. But if you, okay. you want to touch on any other points, and then I think you have a final video for us to see, right? Yeah. So, so let me just quickly, I saw a few things which I don't think has been answered. There are luggage, luggage restrictions on the seaplane. It's about 20 kilos. And for groups, we can use luggage boats, which we have um, done depending on it. You, need, you do need to travel uh, light. Views, sunrise, sunset, yes, depending on the resort. But both are, the rooms are the same. It's just some people like to see the sun rising, some people like the uh, see the sun setting. Um, medical facilities, Dimple has uh, replied, and yes, seaplanes are from, from sunrise to sunset, so not even dawn, uh, sunrise to sunset. Uh, and I think, yes, uh, most of them has been taken care of. If anybody has some additional questions, they can ask. We will share the presentation, Sydney, in both Spanish and Portuguese, so that you can share it with everybody. And, Folks, the Maldives is amazing. That picture is real. I truly wish I was there. I am going to run over there. All of you are invited. We can have a big party. But thank you Fantastic. all. Salute. And let's end Hello. with the video. All right. Let's check it out. For the Amway Europe and South Africa Diamond Conference, the Maldives served as a stunning backdrop for the 200-guest five-night incentive program. While the Maldives are consistently rated as a top vacation spot, it does not easily accommodate groups of this size. Creative Travel confidently took on the challenge, knowing that the location itself would be the incentive that wowed Amway's top achievers. Creative Travel embraced the island theme with extravagant seafood barbecued dinners on the beach and traditional music and performances. But for the grand finale, they brought Indian culture to the island, where guests experienced a high-energy music extravaganza that transported them from the beach resort to the heart of Bollywood. Combining the best elements of the region with expert production and design experience, the event achieved all of Amway's six core objectives. Enhance the business owner's affinity to the brand, recognize top achievers, create a sense of aspiration, strengthen relationships, present a company report and latest products, and provide an extraordinary, rewarding experience. Direct selling industry requires its independent sales network to be deeply associated to the brand. Creative Travel achieved this goal in the delivery and execution of the program. Fantastic. Haji, the Very final nice question video. I have for you. With $2,000, can I make an incentive in Maldives? Off season, yes. Okay, with April to April to October, yes. Okay, with three thousand dollars, can we do something that feels special to guests? Yes, we can. All right. Okay. This is what where we select would, the right resort. Right. What What would be a budget that would bring the experience to the level people would? feel fantastic about the destination without ripping the company off. You know, Sydney, we have some great options that we have now used and worked with in the last one year, which are all inclusive. And these are not your cheap Mexican Cancun all inclusive. Sorry, Ofi. Um, <laughs> these are serious, real high quality, very high quality, but it allows for better value. And I will say, those rates for us are coming anywhere from a thousand to thirteen hundred dollars a night for a room at the higher end for a room so i say a budget of three to three and a half thousand dollars gets us very good inclusions okay anything land lower? portion of course land and food and beverages and transfers 
and transfers. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So so it depends. That's that's so, where we pay smart. The the resorts with seaplanes are a little bit more expensive because the seaplane is expensive. Hmm. And this is where we play around. So that's why we will ask, get us a budget. All right. So for the, all of you who are listening, who are participating, who are seeing us, very important. Don't get scared before trying. Don't yeah. say no to your client before trying to find a solution. We can so find... So if I may just just interrupt you, so uh, Dimple from my team has just sent me a message to remind me. Thanks, Dimple. We are doing a, an incentive this October with forty-five overwater villas, all inclusive, for sixteen hundred dollars a person. Sixteen one six yes. zero zero. Okay. Yes. So you're talking very good value, but it's a it's a, it, on water villas. Yeah, and a five star. Oh wow, not that's really not so bad this is where, at all. This is where our negotiation comes in. And it says oh, includes yeah. a nice farewell gala dinner on the beach with DJ and, and music, DJ music, transfer and speed. Okay, so that's that's a very good option. So for everybody, there are options, there are alternatives. We should never settle and say, "Oh, this is not for me." Sometimes we will find the Maldives can e easily become more affordable than other very well-known destinations. Now, for us to end. Uh, you have a feedback QR code on the left part of your screen. We would love to have your feedback. It is important for us to get the feedback so we can make better in next presentations. We can get a presenter with a bit more hair, like, uh, you know, maybe Ophelia instead of me and Hajiv. But we are, we are very happy to have all of you here. Ofelia, yeah. como siempre, los mexicanos participando activamente, todos ahí listos. Me da mucho gusto verlos. Y gracias por yeah. estar con nosotros y por el trabajo ahí en México. Gracias. Sí, gracias. Sí. Gracias a ustedes. Gusto de verlos. Rajib, gracias. Rajib, thank you very much for the presentation. My pleasure. My pleasure. I hope Fantastic. you all enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah we, did. And, and we did. We did. And Hajiv, we're waiting for you down here in South America. We're waiting for you in Mexico also. We need to have you here with us showing more of your beautiful destinations. And thank I you again you all so much for everything. You know, I mean, I've been stuck here. So I am ex America. Maybe I'll try to come down then if I'm ex America allows me in. So okay. hope to see you, many of you there. All right. So, everybody, we thank you so much. We didn't want to take much of your time. We're five minutes late. Have a great Bye. day. Have Take a great care. lunch. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. Send us the feedback. That's very important. Oh. Yes, Morocco. Week, I'm looking forward to that. Morocco. Too. Next week, Destination Dives Morocco. Big, big thing. Thank you all. Take care.